Hello friends. This session is going to give an introduction to trigonometry. So friends, trigonometry is derived from Greek words tri meaning three, gono means sides and metron meaning measure. So trigonometry is basically the study of relation between sides and angles of a triangle. So three sides try gono measure so it is about relation between the measure uh, the sides and angles of a triangle astronomers have used this to find distances of the stars and planets from earth and engineering and physical science use this branch of mathematics extensively for various calculations and estimations In a right angled triangle, say we have this triangle which is right angled at C, the other two angles are always acute angles. Why? Because the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So if one of the angles is 90 degree, the other two have to be acute angles. Some ratios of the sides of the triangle are defined with respect to it it's acute angle. So we're naming this angle, angle B as theta, which is an acute angle. So there are some ratios which have been defined based on the sides of the triangle with respect to this acute angle. And these are called trigonometric ratios. The trigonometric ratios depend only on the value of angle. And they are actually independent of the position of the points A and C. So we are going to see how. We are saying it only depends upon this angle theta. Now if we have A and C here, we have A and C here or we extend it and make A and C here, it is not going to make an impact to the trigonometric ratios. So now let's see what are the different trigonometric ratios that we have. So now we have this triangle ABC with the acute angle theta at B. Now the sine theta, this is one of the trigonometric ratios. Sine theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. And in this case, this angle theta for this angle theta, AC will be the perpendicular and AB is the hypotenuse. So, sine theta is equal to AC by AB. We can say sine theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse. And this SIN, this is the short form of sine theta, which is SINE. Sine. And here we'll say, see that supposing we move AC to any of these positions or for that matter if we move AC to this position the ratio remains unchanged because if we are decreasing the size of AC as we move AC towards the angle theta we are making AC smaller and smaller and we, are, we can see that AB accordingly becomes smaller in the same proportion and that is why we say that the trigonometric ratios do not depend upon the actual value of the sides of this triangle. They depend only on the acute angle theta. The next trigonometric ratio is cos theta. And cos theta is the short form of cosine. This is the full form of this cos. So this cos theta is now base upon hypotenuse which is in this case BC upon AB. And again we will see that if we keep reducing the size, the side BC, AB also reduces and it reduces in the same proportion. So even cos theta is not going to change if we change the sides as long as theta remains same. Now tan theta is nothing but sin theta by 
cos theta and it is defined as perpendicular upon base perpendicular again being ac and the base is bc and the full form of tan is tangent so this is tan theta again the same if we change ac or bc anything the other side reduces in the same proportion so the ratio does not change and why does that happen we can see from the the triangle theorems we've already we we know that you know uh, if the this line is drawn parallel to this side we know that the ratio of the sides is equal which is the basic proportionality theorem then we have another trigonometric ratio which is cosec theta and its full form is cosecant this is written as cosec theta and cosec theta is hypotenuse by perpendicular which is ab by ac and if we see it is just the reciprocal of sin theta so we can say that this is equal to 1 by sin theta then we have the next ratio which is sec theta and this is hypotenuse by base which is ab by bc and this is as you can see here reciprocal of cos theta or we can say that this is equal to 1 by cos theta and its full form is secant and the last one is cot theta which is base upon perpendicular that is bc by ac and this is nothing but 1 by tan theta as we can see by definition and the, the full form of this is cotangent so let's now see the relation between trigonometric ratios it is clear from the definition of the trigonometric ratios that we have the following relations between them for an acute angle theta we've just talked about that tan a uh, tan theta is nothing but sin theta by cos theta cosec theta is nothing but 1 by sin theta sec theta is nothing but 1 by cos theta cot theta is 1 by tan theta so we've already talked about the relation which is very obvious from the definition of the trigonometric ratios and now here we can also see that supposing i take this angle instead of theta i name it as alpha now what will be these trigonometric ratios now for this angle alpha bc will become the perpendicular and ac will become the base and obviously ab still remains the hypotenuse so we are saying if sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse so sin alpha will become bc by ab where sin theta was ac by ab so this is very important to understand that the perpendicular and base will be decided based upon which angle we are talking about friends i hope you enjoyed the session if you find it useful please like it and share it with your friends you can visit us at our cool smart learning website and post your queries there and please subscribe to the cool smart learning channel for getting updates on the new sessions thank you